Hey guys, I'm Dana from Dana Ann here on YouTube and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this big voluminous hair. Let's get started. The key to having big voluminous hair is to really go in and prep for the style. As you can see, I have slightly dampened hair. I just freshly washed my hair with a Moroccan oil, extra volume, shampoo, and conditioner. So that's step one. Step two is to really go through and detangle your hair before you blow dry because you really don't want to get your crown brush stuck into any tangles. So what I like to use as kind of a blow dry prep along with the detangler is the Moroccan oil treatment. I have mine in light. This is perfect for any kind of color treated hair. Obviously, I am not naturally this dirty blonde so with the highlights I really like to make sure that I maintain the color so the Moroccan oil treatment light keeps my hair shiny and really preps it for the blow dry the star of today's show is Moroccan oils thickening lotion if you have medium to fine hair this will be your new best friend I tend to have the hair that's more on the coarse to thick side but trust me this still works wonders in my hair I just like to take one to two pump per side for me having thicker hair if you have thinner hair you can definitely stick to one pump for both sides and go from about mid shaft down Unlike traditional volumizing products that only give hair a vertical lift, Rockin' Oil's Thickening Lotion expands each and every hair shaft to give you that fuller dimensional style. Not only does this product smell amazing, but it also has vitamin rich argan oil in it that really just keeps your hair soft and touchable. Okay, now that we have that prepped, I like to go through and give it one final brush to get out any tangles. And then from here, we're gonna section off our hair to get it ready for the blow dryer. I'm gonna go ahead and finger comb my hair all the way back and start from about right above the ears. So just taking this up and then with a clip, just fasten your hair out of the way. Taking my blow dryer, I went ahead and attached the speed dry nozzle. This just makes it easier to concentrate on the round brush. Now from here, I like to take the round brush, give it a final sweep. Now it's really important when blow drying to really over direct your hair. That's how you're gonna get the volume. If you drag your hair down, it's gonna stay flat in that same direction. So with round brush, it's key to really elevate and over direct. Starting from here, I'm gonna put my blow dryer on the warm setting and on low. Actually, let's do high. From here, you're gonna grab the round brush and twist it in a downward motion just to really secure the curl in. Now, as you can see, I have a slight loose curl here. So to set it, we're just gonna grab two fingers like this stacked on top of each other, wrap the hair around. Nothing too fancy, just a big old loop. Now you can use a bobby pin, a duckbill clip. I just have these little curl clamps and you're just gonna clip this right to the root and just really let that curl set. That's how you're gonna maintain that volume throughout the whole style. Now same exact thing, moving on to the next section, give it a quick brush through and then first off, make sure you elevate that round brush just to really over direct to create the volume and then from there I'm gonna do the same thing, wrapping it around the round brush. Once again, we're gonna go ahead and take the round brush and gently unwind it and then kind of curl it back into the form that it should be. Quickly get your fingers, wrap it around, and then clip it into place. And we're just gonna do the same exact process all throughout our head. So we're gonna pin that last one into place, and I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then we're gonna let them all loose. One quick tip that I wanted to give you is that if you're someone who kind of really struggles with getting that extra volume in there, you can definitely mix and match and kind of make a cocktail of products. Another product I would highly recommend using with a thickening lotion is the Root Boost. That's just a nice spray. You can spray right into your roots, massage it in, and then work that in while blow drying, and then you'll have even more volume. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, so now I'm gonna go through and unfasten all these clips, and I kind of like to go in the same direction that I worked with. So from the bottom up, doing that twirling method, I feel like really helps. So once we get all these clips out, that's when we can go through and really kind of shake our hair out and finger comb out the curls. But for right now, while we're unclipping, Thing, just go ahead and let those curls cool even more. It's like a treasure hunt finding all these duck bills. So we're just gonna unclip these one by one. Another really cool thing about the Moroccan oil thickening lotion is that it's formulated with high performance polymers as well as quinoa proteins. And what those do is plump and reinforce the hair from inside out. So you're just left with really strong, shiny, and soft hair. And now from here, just get your fingers, kind of use them as big combs or rakes and just rake through, the, through those curls fluff them out a bit. You don't want to tug too hard. You're just gently going through and finger combing them, just breaking them apart just to create even more volume in there. Look at that. Now from here, you just really go through a style of how you want, find the part, flip it which way you'd like. I'll just take your favorite teasing comb. Now with teasing, you really want to make sure you're not grabbing this too tight. You just want to lift it loosely in your hands. That way enough of the hair is going back down whenever you're back combing it. 
So just like that, and then you just smooth over the top section. And then to complete this look, I'm gonna go in with half a pump of the Moroccan Oil Treatment Light, and just run this right through my end, just to keep away any frizz, add some extra shine, and of course, that amazing scent. I think that wraps up this tutorial for big voluminous hair. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to Moroccan Oil, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.